What's going on, people? We welcome you to the Gunner Off Channel. It is time for evolution. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a character description on Planet Oska. You know, so Planet Oska is like a. Uh, this is where the story is, is based on. So, you know, the story is called Oska, so it's based on the, the planet, and the planet will tie into the story as well. So, you know, Planet Oska it has a ring around the planet. This ring is called the Great Arc, and this ring. It serves as a uh, as an energy source to power up totems, and now totems uh, in Oscar is also known. They're also known as a uh, crystal technology. So anything can be a totem. You can make a a weapon a totem. You can make a fridge a camera, you know. But not, not uh, um, totems don't need to be weapons. You know, they again they can just be cameras. They could just be fridges or whatever kind of uh, technology. It's just that, uh, and there's also battle battle totems that you can use for battle, you know. But anyway, just know that uh, uh, totems they uh, they have their their uh, they use crystals, and this crystals the crystals is what is what harnesses a energy called our uh, called her her harmana, you know harmana energy, you know. So it harnesses Hermana energy from the ring uh, around the planet, and so as it, uh, people use uh, Hermana energy, infuse it with technology to power up their technology. Hence, you know, totems, crystal technology. And then there are also uh, uh, certain shamans that are able to harness the, the the power of the planetary ring or the Great Arc. They can harness this 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 power for you know special abilities and such, uh, but they can do this you know without totems. They can harness hermana hermana without the use of totems or crystals, and so these these people are called uh, these people are called shamans. And so people who are on the technical side of things that have that have created uh, tools like totems are are known as crystal engineers, and so. Uh, certain uh, things that have prevented uh, um, crystal engineers. Uh, the, for, first off, one thing is uh, the planet. You can't go above. Uh, you can't go above five thousand feet into the air with a uh, with a totem or flying totem because it gets disabled by the ring. So you're only able to uh, travel uh, travel uh, within the range of the uh, travel sphere, and you can't you can't go. Uh, to or beyond the ozone layer so you can't so flying technology can't even go you know above the clouds or even where even where planes are, are flying so it's like you can still make a make some flying technology you, you know but it cannot it can't go above you know uh, 5,000 feet uh, into the air without getting disabled so they have there, there hasn't been any innovations on people going and exploring you know outside the planet because they're they're really they're really trapped within this uh within the planet and also even upon death certain shamans have noticed that people's uh, souls bounce bounce back into the planet you know so so even isn't even as a person in a uh, in a soul form you know they can't even leave the planet or else the you know the ring will just you know, bounce you back into, you know, into another uh, young, you just, you know, just reincarnate you back into the planet. And this is why certain shamans called Oska the, the prison planet. And so there are myths and legend, legends from ancient tribes that speak about uh, sky people that are uh, known as the ring makers who created the, the ring around the planet. But many people don't really know why and there are some skeptics to that so many people so there are some people that believe in it and others who don't and so there are shamans even there even there are shamans that even don't uh, really believe in the legends you know so it's not it's not only uh it's not only like uh normal people that can't see into you know the astral realm or different creatures and so there's actually a uh an omnipresent uh entity that is known as the guardian and certain shamans they it is believed like that uh, this guardian it maintains the the astral laws for both the corporeal and the astral creatures corporeal meaning you know the physical people 
you know so it, it kind of manage it manages up uh, the law so that uh, certain people don't uh, step certain creatures don't step beyond their boundaries you know so it's kind of so it's origins of the origins of the uh, the uh, the guardian in the sky is unknown but but shamans can see them but shamans can see them normal people can't see it but shamans can see it so it's con kind of confirmed by the shamans that it exists to them but they still don't understand why it's there so it's unknown the origins is are uh, are unknown and so within oscar there are four races uh zagrata primta menta and there's the beastmen race so there are four corporeal physical races and there are uh two two other races as well two other astral races as well which are the wood walkers and the shadow walkers that then they both you know they both inhabit uh Oska together uh certain the, the corpor some corporeal people if you're not a shaman some per corporeal people can't really uh they don't really see that that they, there are also uh, astral creatures you know also interacting with them rather it's for uh good intent or malicious intent you know is is dependent on the the astral creature and so you may have noticed the the pink clouds around the planet that's also uh that's also where they store as think of it like a, a data data collection like storing thoughts in within the cloud within the cloud that's surrounding it on people who access the uh people accessing the the you know the the power of the the ring uh, the clouds are serving as like data data collection and so for example if you're using a battle totem in battle uh, a totem will usually uh, correlate with the users how powerful the users thoughts are how powerful the users uh, focus and attention is will be how powerful the totem will uh, will let out its you know power you know and that will be stored whoever's you whatever shaman or whatever uh person who's using a totem or whatever shaman is harnessing the energy from the uh, the ring all this information is going to be stored into the cloud and so just like earthlings on earth we have uh oskins on oska and so uh people the uh, the the gradual or the collective people on oska they're not aware of what's really outside the planet. What they have to go by is uh, ancient texts and, you know, ancient tribes talk, speaking about what it looks like. But there's really no, no, uh, no solid uh, proof because they cannot really, uh, they don't really know what it looks like, you know, physically. And they, again, they can't really uh, go beyond the, the ozone layer. And so this is why uh, Oska is called, is also nicknamed the, the prison planet just due to the fact that, you know, a lot of things can't leave the planet. And so you might ask yourself, why is the planetary ring called the Great Arc? So let's say you're on the planet, you're on one side of the planet, half of the half a circle is an arc, right? So if you're looking up at the sky and you see this this ring, but you're on one side of the planet, it's going to look like an arc. So this is why it's called the Great Arc. And this name originated from, you know, the ancient tribes in Oska. And so it has stick to it, they, they stick to the name in, in modern times. And so that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll tell you what you think about this video. And also note that uh, anything, any artwork created with the new logo will start to become a uh, canon. And anything created with the, uh, the old logo is a uh, non-canon however you may see some ideas from non non-canon you know return back to uh the uh, the canon version when i do i'll start to make uh the oska chapters officially and so that'll be the video peace